So things have certainly changed. Deidre Evans Pritchard spent a lot of time in movie theaters, especially this week as she prepares for the 25th annual DC Independent Film Forum. We have discussions with filmmakers. We make sure that, that um, the time given to discussion is, is almost the same as the length of the film. Uh, we allow audiences to ask any questions and we create opportunities for filmmakers and audiences to sit together um, to have a chance to learn about what it's like behind the scenes. They wanted to make good films. One of those filmmakers is Wynette Yao, the producer and director of the District of Second Chances, a documentary that takes a look at DC's Second Look Act. The Second Look Act allows those convicted of serious crimes, including murder, while under the age of 25, to seek release from prison after serving 15 years. Yao's film follows the journey of three men convicted of murder in their youth who apply for release through the new law. I've been watching my mother for 26 years. I don't know how I'm going to tell my mother I got to The human heart can span such radically different experiences, you know, from drugs and violence to the horrors of a prison environment to making yourself whole again, which is what all these men struggled hard to do, and they're still doing it. Um, but it really shows people can change. Yao, a Tacoma Park resident, is thrilled for a DC audience to experience her film. It's so gratifying because District of Second Chances is really named after District of Columbia, um, and is offering a hopeful note for the tragedy and struggles that the city has been through in trying to emerge and trying to be safe, be whole, um, and saying, let's look at our people. You gotta invest in the people. When I see my son walk out the door, my heart dropped to my feet. I knew that it was a God. A second locally produced documentary, Feast Your Ears, the story of WHFS, the legendary radio station based in Bethesda, Maryland, is also a part of the festival. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Looks like some wonderful films. By the way, the D.C. Independent Film Forum runs tomorrow through Sunday at four different theaters. Each showing includes a panel discussion with the filmmakers. On Thursday, Mark will be moderating the discussion after the WHFS documentary at the Avalon Theater on Connecticut Avenue in Northwest.